I don't know if you wanted to transition to you, what we, the topic we never got to about the empathy thing. Q was trying to do this work, y'all. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> y'all don't understand. This man is out for answers. I just want to cry so bad. <laughs> I just want to cry so, so bad. Something I said sparked and it triggered something in him that made him realize that it's work to do. And <laughs> I'm so, first of all, come on. Come on, Ricky. Clap it up for Q. To the work. To the work that's to the work. What y'all want? What's one of the things I want you to understand that um that God gifted me with the ability is to be able to understand people and also help people understand themselves. And the thing is, which before I pivot into this empathy aspect, the thing about it is most of us feel misunderstood and we feel like we are the most understanding people. We feel like we get everybody, nobody gets us. And you know, you can feel secluded in the world and alienated when you feel like you are on a journey and a mission to understand people and nobody gets you. So when you finally run into that person or that thing or that book or whatever, that's when you feel that instant connection because you feel heard, you feel validated, you feel understood. And one of the things that I strive to do within all of my work and relationship coaching and personal development was to be more understanding, which is why the key word on my book that says cheating is not cheating. It's not even a title. It's a guide to understanding the understanding aspect. It's like I never said that this is going to uh, be the remedy. I never said that this is going to be. No, it's a solution for people who are looking to understand. And I feel like when you understand yourself, you arrive at this point how you feel right now. Where you just want to dig a little deeper. Like I, I reserve the right to not say pause. But you understand what I'm saying? You want to delve deep into who you are as a person. And um, you're going to cry. So and, my answer to that is uh, I actually... Just so I, well, I I went I went home and told a few people like my mom my girl some of my friends whatever I like you know what I've come across to your point to your point no let me land let me land uh, land the plane so uh, to your, to your point about I actually like that you know most people are misunderstood but don't want to be understanding um, so what I come across typically is that I feel like people who are getting to know me or know me from afar or whatever tend to classify me in certain ways that aren't exactly accurate or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I just always find it interesting and amusing. Like, not even, I'm never offended by it. I just think it's interesting. I understand I have, like, a certain type of personality or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. certain things I say and think, and they just be like, I think I, this about I you. I would like be mad if you like. wasn't you. Like, <laughs> you, we need people like you in the world. For sure, for sure, like, for sure. I, yeah, I appreciate that. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so one thing I will like to, to break into this whole conversation with one thing I thought was interesting we, I, the whole forgiveness part we talked about last time. I went to my mom, little mom, like I was, I was talking to Wolf and he, we talking about like the idea of forgiveness and I, the way you asked me that question, and I'm right thinking like, hmm, and I'm gonna stand <laughs> on that. Like I thought it's like I I I wouldn't say I have a forgiveness issue, but I don't forgive. I can't say I do whatever. So, so, so saying I, I don't have an issue, but admitting to it being an issue that you don't do it is the issue itself. Cause it's all of you consider it an issue. Like I just stay in the fact or whatever. Said I don't have an addiction, but I do do a, a lot. Like what the Yeah, it's all about you call it addiction. <laughs> well, I can stop it anytime I want. Yeah. I can forget somebody anytime I want to so, well, uh, that in that regard, but, then I get it. But um, yeah, so I was talking about one thing we landed on I thought was interesting is we I realized me and my mom are different. I'm more like my dad in, in regards to forgiveness, or whatever. Where back to our conversation about twos and tens. Um my mom, a lot of things are tens to her. Like, you know, <laughs> I talk about the whole situation with me, my man holding me money, or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, she was like, Oh, I never told the story or whatever. And she was like, You a nigga owe you money and he you gave it to him twice. And what the fuck? Oh, no, I would have had to fuck him up, not talk to him again, dead to me, block him. I was like, Mom, I'm not about to disown, this, like, hate somebody, it's fight $50. someone. It was $150. It was $150. Twice. $300. I agree with you. So, someone I love. Like, right. someone's like a brother to me, that means more to me than fucking $300 or whatever. Yeah. Now, I'm going to still have my, protect my peace and my boundaries and hold you accountable where you can never get that from me again, whatever. 100%, 100%. But I'm not about to be on it. That's not a 10 at all to me. Yeah, 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 but she yeah. was like... No, but what we learned is, what, we, what I landed on is that a lot of shit is tens to my mom. I probably don't know anybody that has more tens than my mom. Mm -hmm. However, she don't. if she got love for you, she probably won't stand on that, though. It'll uh, be like a 10 to a 7 over time, whatever. She yeah. may never, It may never go to a 0, but it'll drop, whatever. Because it's emotion-driven. Right, where me, though, and my, my dad, not many things are tens to us, though. Yeah. But then once it is, though... It stay at a ten forever. Yeah. Like it's just gonna stay in there. It's no, gonna I die understand. there. It's gonna be. And I like that's an interesting distinguishment of the type of personalities, whatever. And um, so that's what we land on in that regard. And I was like, yeah, so if someone ever give me to a ten, especially someone I love, it's just over. Like it's, I, I cannot get. And I even said, yeah, he even framed the way he framed it. Wolf, nasty, nah. 
I'm a d- new person. Look at me this way. I'm like, that's an interesting situation. Right, right, right. But right. no, fuck you. Fuck next time. Nah, <laughs> fuck all y'all things. No, if it was a 10, then niggas a 10 now. Yeah. Like, so, that's understood. Yeah. That's understood. Okay, so I think the whole, uh, you know, I don't know how you want, you know, why you want to tag me, not tag me, approach me with a new conversation. Attack you is insane. He later came last time with a note saying, I'm going to attack Q and everything you say. Like, it's like, no. I'm no, just, I said, I'm a challenge. I need a challenge. No, but um, I'm glad that you even went through that entire process. And um, one of the things that you. Yeah, I'm always uh, about that you, passing I think, on conversation. I think yeah. that you acknowledge, but I don't think that you even dig that. Like, what you pointed out, it's not even like just you and your dad and then your mom. It's like literally male, female. It's like, and I don't, I'm not trying to make this like one of those situations, but it's like the fact of the matter is. Because their decisions can be fueled by emotion. Not saying all decisions uh, are fueled by emotions. That's why more things can appear to be a 10. Right. Because it might trigger a 10 emotional response. Now, when the emotions subside and the logic kicked in, <clears throat> kicks in, that's when it goes back to a 7, which is why you feel like she can't stand on it. Mm-hmm. But for us, we're not going to react off our emotion first. So if it gets me to a 10, it's definitely going to be a 10 forever because that means I went through every level of not trying to make it a 10 mm-hmm. before realizing that you got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. And once we arrive at you got me fucked up, it's up and it's stuck type mm-hmm. shit. So that's just a distinguishing, that's a distinguishment between us and women. Like mm-hmm. most men will say the same thing. Most men will say, no, nah, I ain't really that deep. Well, or a woman be like, yes, it is that deep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which yeah. is why we have longer lasting friendships because we're not that about to not be friends with our homie because he was short on the dinner bill. We're going <laughs> to bid off him. Oh, you ordered steak? You, you came here with $46 and you got the most lemon drop. We're not about to be embarrassed. And now we're going, man, I'm going to take care of this little thing. But you, from ne- now, from now on, we need to know how much you got before. Like, we're going to hold them accountable. Where though, right. with them, it's just like, you should have knew better. Mm. And because you didn't know better, I'm going to punish you for life. <laughs> you can't come to no more birthday dinners <laughs> because you ain't had to do it. you had the most and put up the least. For sure, for sure. And that, that's definitely all fair. But I, I was also more har- harping on the point of like the, um, whether man or woman, I think, again, to bring about myself, like, I understand that I can be a minority. Like, no, like, if it had a 10 or a 7 regardless, though, I'm just not going to forgive it, though. It's going to be it's going to be whatever. And I do yeah. acknowledge that. No, if somebody we do forgive, though, I don't think, and I feel like the average person, to your point, I feel like, you know, I have all this built up tears inside and shit like that, whatever. I think the average person who does harp on things, it tend to does weigh, tend to weigh them down. 100%. I think that this average person where you're suppressing things, where I don't really suppress I, Yeah, I don't think it weighs, I never got the vibe that it weighs you down. I mm-hmm. got the vibe that it's just no empathy there. Like, it's no, so that's so, mm-hmm. t- 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 that's we can fair. unpack. That's fair assessment. And um, before we do, I do got 